What's up guys, we are here with another Marvel Psych Force video and in this video we are back to talk about data mines. We have some juicy data mines once again to share with you and we are going to talk about data mines about Alliance Wars. If you guys don't know, we have uh, the Alliance, Mo Alliance Wars game mode being changed into something new where we are going to have seasons, where we are going to have events, the same way that we have with Cosmic Crucible. So certain teams will have uh, different bonuses depending if they are on defense or not. And uh, with these new data mines, we already have also confirmation on all the room bonuses. And uh, if you want to start preparing your alliance to see which rooms you are going to attack first or not, uh, we can get ready already with that. As always, these data mines are thanks to Michael. You can find him on my Discord and the link to this Discord will be available somewhere there. It's easy to find if you ask around. Okay, so we're going to take a look at all those room bonuses and what exactly Black Order is going to get. And if you should invest on Black Order, I'm going to give you my opinion about that at the end of the video. So as always, if you like the information on this video, make sure you share it to your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure to smash that like button. Let's get started. Let's take a look at these data mines. If you guys make sure you check out the channel every day, sometimes people don't get notifications. You can turn on the bell. I know it's inconvenient, but you can on, turn on the bell. But uh, check out the channel every now and then because we already have all the information that you need to know in order to win on the upcoming scourge for Nova. So if you want to get ready early, make sure you check out that video because the data mines that we talked about there have all the information. Then there are also other videos very interesting on the channel that you can watch. Okay, let's take a look at these new data mines and we're going to talk about the room bonuses of the, the new Alliance Wars. So you can see that instead of changing the current Alliance Wars, they just copy paste Alliance Wars and this new one, they're going to make some changes to it. And if eventually in the future they can bring it up or not, they can just enable or disable depending if they want this season to come back or at least part of this season. So, like I said, this is not going to be the same Alliance Wars. It's going to be a different Alliance Wars because indeed the room bonuses are so different. And you can just copy paste and change a little bit. You change the home work of your friend a little bit just so it doesn't look the same. Okay, let's take a look at these room bonuses. So once again, we're going to have the test the same way that we had before. And the first room that we have is going to be the Mad Bay. So you can see right here, but global is the buffs that they give to everyone. So in terms of global buffs, the Mad Bay is still going to give 20% max health to all defending war ready allies. So this means you need to have at least Isoid Green level 4 in order to get this. And if your characters are Villain Cosmic, they are going to get additional 10% health. So that means Mad Bay is giving 30% health to Villain Cosmic, not only Black Order, but also Black Order. And then we have the 20% max health to other characters as well. So for example, Black Order, Strange Supreme is Villain Cosmic, so you could put him on defense together with other characters to be super, super tanky. Okay, so for the rooms specifically, so these were global rooms, these affect all rooms. This is just for this specific room. If you put a Black Order on defense, they are going to get 100% primary stats. That means health, focus, resistance, damage and armor is going to be doubled. If uh, Thanos, we can take a look at the stats of Thanos just to have uh, in consideration of the changes that we are taking a look at. For example, for Call Obsidian, these changes are going to be massive. He already has massive amounts of uh, of health and uh, in terms of damage is going to be insane as well. So Thanos is at the bottom. We already had Proxima Midnight there, but we want to take a look at the man of the hour, Thanos. Okay, let's take a look at his stats and see how he's going to scale. Okay, sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. I hope, okay, stats, okay, cool, here we go. So Thanos at uh, level 95, this is level 95. Right now, if you take a look at the website, before it was level 85, now it will always show you level 95. So Thanos will have 
850,000 health. So you double up, that's gonna be 1,700,000 without the other buffs. Remember, on top of that, he's going to get 30% additional health beyond the other buffs. So in terms of damage, Thanos is gonna have 84,000, 85,000 damage. That's gonna be massive. And don't forget, on top of the other buffs as well. So as you can see, if you have a max without Thanos, this is going to be huge in terms of uh, Alliance Wars defense. Let's continue with the data mines because we have some additional information here. So Black Order, if not exhausted, they are going to spawn with uh, three safeguard, evades, offense up and speed up. So you're going to get destroyed very, very early on by Proxima Midnight, Call of Zidian, Corvus Glaive and so on. They are going to do so much damage in your face. This is three turns, so three turns of these. You're gonna get destroyed easily. These these changes to to Black Order are massive, but uh, yeah, it's not a rework. This is definitely not a rework, so it kind of sucks in that regard. Okay, so room, ten percent additional stats to war ready characters, and then we have extra for attacking nowhere. So this means that if you destroy the enemy room, you are going to get 10% additional stats. So keep this in mind. This is a little bit confusing, but once again, global rooms is going to affect all rooms. Then we have the defensive bonuses, and then we have the offensive bonuses, depending if you destroy the enemy room. Okay, let's take a look at the other rooms. So that was the Mad Bay, main focus, additional health to our allies. Now we have the Armory. So Armory is going to give 20% damage and armor to all defending characters, plus additional 10% damage and armor for the Black Order. So like I said, Thanos from 85,000 damage, additional 30% damage to Thanos. Like them, Thanos is going to be so broken. He's literally going to be at 100,000 plus base damage in the, on defense. It's literally insane. It's probably going to be one of the toughest defenses to beat on um, Alliance Wars of the Cosmic Siege or whatever siege is this event called. Okay, so once again, they are going to get 100% uh, uh, primary stats, but this is if they are on that specific room. And then if you destroy this room, you are going to increase the stats of your team. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's go for the next room. So we have the armory. Now we have the weapon something. Okay, this is the security. This is the security. And on the security, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. You are going to apply defense down to characters that are adjacent to that room. So on that room and adjacent to that room, once again, Black Order is going to get massive amount of stats. They are going to get massive amount of stats in any room. It's literally insane. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can see right here that we have the same for the other, other side. Okay, so once again, we have the security. Now we have the bridge. The bridge is the one that gives 10 buffs random buffs to allies it can be counters it can defend subs it can be speed ups uh, it's usually not game breaking buffs like uh, immunity immunity is usually problematic and also stealth i think those are the two buffs that are banned okay let's move on so once again 10 positive effects are going to be randomly spread throughout the team on defense that's pretty much it and if you have black order on top of those 10 percent or out of those 10 buffs you're going to get everything else that we mentioned before let's move on so that was the bridge now we have the anger anger now has new bonuses so to the anger room and to adjacent rooms they are going to get more barriers so you can see right here 10 percent barrier for all defending allies and if they are cosmic villain, they are going to get 25% barrier instead. So Black Order, it's going to be massive. 100% stats, 25% barrier, and then 30% all stats. Health, armor, resistance, and so on. Okay, let's move on. So once again, that's the Angar. The Angar is going to give a barrier to adjacent rooms. So the same way that the security works, it's also going to work with Angar. Let's move on to the next one. We have uh, the reactor, so the reactor is still going to be the same thing. So on that specific room, the characters are going to have disrupt. So if you are attacking, pretty much the same. But can you imagine having disrupt against Black Order? Oof, it's going to be complicated. Okay, so beyond that, uh, we have uh, barracks. Barracks now, instead of giving health and so on, the same that other rooms were giving, now barracks is going to give focus and resistance plus additional 10% for Cosmic Villain allies. 
So additional resistance and focus for our Black Order, they're going to be super, super tanky. Okay, so beyond that, we don't have anything. Then we have the Cargo Bay. Cargo Bay is still going to give 10% all stats to defending War Room Ready Allies. So keep that in mind. The Cargo Bay is still one of the rooms that you want to prioritize early on because it affects all stats. And then you have to go after the Mad Bay and after the Armory. If you have Cosmic Villains on defense, they are going to get additional 20%. So Black Order right now is getting 100% additional stats plus additional 50% stats based on these global rooms from the Cargo Bay, Armory and uh, Mad Bay. Just, just massive. Okay, then we have uh, the Scientific Lab. This is the Engineering. The Engineering is pretty much the same thing. The main room and the same rooms are going to get a defense up, and that's pretty much it. No additional bonuses for Cosmic Villains there. And uh, then we have the deck rooms. So the Black Order is still going to get all those buffs on the deck rooms. So the Flight Decks, make sure you stack up everything with the Black Orders because that's the, where the, that's the way to go. Okay, so beyond that, uh, we have... Uh, this is pretty much the same thing. Okay, so that's it. Those are all the bonuses that we have for Alliance Wars. So in terms of uh, what rooms you should focus on, you still want to focus on Armory as fast as possible and Cargo Bay. Those are the two most important rooms. Cargo Bay, Armory. Then you want to go after the Mad Bay and the Engar. It's pretty much the same thing, but Engar now is less of a priority because it only gives Barrier. Barrier is like having additional health, but there are characters right now in the game that can remove Barrier from the enemies, which is super, super convenient. So, once again, keep in mind that Black Order on defense, Thanos and the Black Order on defense, they are going to get 150% additional stats on top of 25% barrier. It's literally insane. You're going to have teams around... Uh, 2.5 million health on Thanos, which is pretty much ridiculous. Now, if you want my honest opinion, this is trash. This is 100% terrible. They are only powering up these teams for a short period of time, and it's only for one specific game mode. Who's going to benefit from this? It's going to be the whales. The whales are going to be the ones that can invest on these characters because they are outside of the meta in other game modes. You cannot use Dark, you cannot use Black Order in Cosmic Crucible. You cannot use Black Order in Raids. You cannot use Black Order in Dark Dimension. So this is extremely inconvenient because this is a very, very cool team that unfortunately they want to invest, they want us to invest on, on it. But uh, the rewards from uh, Alliance Wars, they are better than they were in the past, but they are not still that amazing that would justify this kind of investment. If we would get like 1 million gold per Alliance Wars, maybe I would think about it. But 650,000, I mean, it's decent, but it's not enough when we have so many things going on at the same time. And like I said, if this team would also have some value in Cosmic Crucible, like Room 6, for example, then uh, great, maybe you could invest in them, you could justify it. In my opinion, it's very, very tough to justify, and especially for new players, that were not around when Black Order was meta, this is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense and I would definitely avoid it. So yeah, guys, that's the new meta for uh, Alliance Wars. Once again, big shout out to Michael to have these juicy data mines early on. This is not Tauna. None of these data mines came from Tauna. This is uh, the, the Duarte Group Association. Uh, with uh, future <laughs> future uh, organizations coming up uh, in Marvel Strike Force, always with the juicy data mines, so you can start getting ready for what's to come in Marvel Strike Force. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you found the video helpful, make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. And I'll catch you guys later.